Hello everyone and welcome to MX Gaming Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing a ship that is in, I know my fleet is considered a joke ship. No one flies this ship uh, unless uh, you're doing a review or if you for some odd reason enjoy this ship. That's right folks I'm reviewing the Oberth class uh, science vessel. So um, this ship you can purchase at the Zen store for 500 Zen. It is a uh, tier one ship, so you can get it um, uh, exactly the same time that you get that you have your uh, light cruiser or the Miranda class type vessel. Um, it's pretty much in line with it uh, stats wise. There are some differences, so I will go over those differences uh, when I do the stats. Um, but uh, pretty much when you see the old birth class uh, in any of the uh, uh, Star Trek shows, pretty much it is a ship that, um, you know, everyone's dead on. Uh, it's, you know, uh, it, it's going to be destroyed. It needs to be destroyed. And... The only thing, good thing about it is when it usually explodes. I think the only time that uh, it doesn't explode was uh, in the uh, uh, episode where they go back and they find the uh, the Pegasus, um, which is uh, Commander Riker's first uh, ship that he served on. So, anyways, without further ado, let us go over the stats of this ship, and we're gonna go. Run down all the, all the way down to Lieutenant Laurel, and we're gonna look at the stats here. So, just bear with me for a moment. Uh, we don't want to customize, not yet, anyways. So it is a science vessel. There it is, there. But we'll just there we go. So, um. The stats are for bridge officers you get an ensign tactical, an ensign engineering, and an ensign science. For console you get uh, engineering, tactical, and two science. For weapons you get two in the front, one in the back, base hull of 10,000, a shield modifier of 1.2, base crew of 80. Now this ship, the reason why it's so low is because this ship actually need, can run on only five people. So it only needs five people to run this ship. Um, base turn rate of 13, a impulse modifier of 0 0.15, and an inertia rating of 50. Uh, you also get two device slots with this ship. So uh, you get plus 5 power to auxiliary systems. I think normal science vessels get plus 15. Uh, apparently this is lower. Um, why, I don't know. You get uh, the subsystem targeting and sensor analysis. And then you get a console, which is the Enhanced Plasma Manifold. And apparently you can use that um, as an alternative than the Red Matter Capacitor. So um, that's it for stats. Um, moving on with the design of the ship. And all I have to say is whoever designed this ship, what drugs were you on? Because this is just... This is a mess, if you ask me. Um, you you have the saucer section, very nice and and round. Uh, looks like a, a UFO if you uh, take out all the rest of it. Looks like a flying saucer. Um, and then you have this back piece here. I guess this would be the uh, the the body or the the hull. And it looks like it's only maybe one or two decks, and that's and I think two decks is pushing it to be honest. Um, and then you have the warp nacelles here. Oh yes, and there's no deflector dish on this. Um, there is no deflector dish whatsoever. So um, it's it's kind of strange, you know, a science vessel without a deflector dish. Anyways, continuing on with the nacelles here. Uh, very uh, very heavy plated, um, especially near the front. Um, very round as well. Um, and then once you get to the back here, the bottom piece here is nice and flat. Zoomed in, I think, a little too much there. No, okay. All right. So when you look at the um, the cells here, you have it uh, different layers. The outer, the uh, longer layers here are black, and then the shorter layers are blue. So I don't know 
if that is um, if these pieces here are supposed to be like that or whatnot I'm not entirely sure but uh, it's interesting there and then you have your pylons here um, you know they're they go down on an angle here and then near the end they curved and they attach to this this submarine looking pod here which is um, odd to begin with because I don't even think like this might be the living quarters then if if this doesn't hold any decks for living quarters this might be it but you don't see any windows so um, I don't know what the purpose of this is here um, because I mean for 80 people this disc this flying saucer here should be enough to hold 80 people um, so I don't know what this piece is for um, looking at it I really haven't seen much research on it and what this is supposed to be for um, so I can't give you a definitive answer I mean this has a shuttle bay but no deflector dish go figure um, anyways so that's it for ship design um, again what kind of drugs was the uh, ship designer on because this is a horrible horrible design and I'm even surprised that it was even um, approved by Starfleet Command I mean really it's just it's an ugly ship and uh, let's go over here and I'll show you oh I have my Nova let's go and select the old berth there we go ready ship all right, so so let's customize our ship there. Please excuse the uh, Jim Hadar uh, stuff here. Was it even going to show? Yeah, okay. It's going to be purple, but um, so when you look at the nacelles, it gives you an option: O Berth and O Berth Dark, which means this ship is usually without power. Whenever it's discovered, there's usually like no power or you know it's it's heavily damaged because it is a horrible horrible ship and the weapons on it are very minimal I'm even surprised like I, I'm yeah cancel that Ooh, cancel yes okay um, the old birth pretty much uh, I, I'm even surprised it has two forward weapons on it because that's 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 very generous of cryptic to put that on um, anyways, let's continue on with the review, and we're going to look at uh, the loadout here. Please um, don't make fun of me because of the, the loadout that I have. I really haven't worked on this character. So what I got is Tetrion uh, beam arrays at the front and the back. Um, this one is accuracy with critical hit. And this one is accuracy times two. Let's see if there's another accuracy times two. No, they're all. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Okay, yeah, I just switched. Okay. Yeah, so I got Tetrion beam arrays here. Um, so that gives me 205 Tetrion damage, 164 DPS. Uh, minus 10 power uh, weapon power when firing other weapons of obviously uh, to target 2.5 percent chance to do minus 320 damage to all shields uh, and then you get plus two to critical chance and plus 10 percent accuracy on this one and then this one gives me plus 20 percent accuracy so the uh, the 2.5 percent chance to do minus 320 damage to all shields is pretty neat so even if you're just attacking one shield one side or one part of the shield um, it'll do minus 320 damage to all the shields around the ship. That's my understanding. Whether that happens or not, that's a different story. Anyways, um, I have my wide angle quantum torpedo just because I have it. And then I have the Jem'Hadar set. And then I have the Obli subspace rift warp core for devices, shield, battery, and subspace field modulator as usual. Uh, I have neutronium uh, rare, unfortunately. I don't have the purple version but I got the purple version of the uh, shield emitter so I'm not sure how I scored that uh, and then I have tetrion pulse generator which gives me plus 26.2 percent tetrion damage so this is the uh, enhanced plasma manifold 
And this, from what I can tell, looking at the stats on this, this is pre pretty good for um, for any science vessel to have. So uh, it repairs disabled shields, engines, and auxiliary subsystems. Uh, it uh, it's immune to shield, engine, and auxiliary offline for 15 seconds. You get plus 50 to shield, engine, and auxiliary power settings for 15 seconds. Uh, plus 10 maximum shield engine auxiliary power for 15 seconds. Um, when I was flying around uh, before, because uh, this is actually my second time doing the uh, the review here, um, it was uh, I think the no I don't know if it was I know the time the time went up, but I can't remember if the um, plus 50 went up as well. But uh, we'll take a look at that a little later. <coughs> For stations, I have fire at will one, engineering team one, and transfer shield shield strength one. So that's gonna help me out a bit. So that's my loadout, and that's uh, that for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video, make sure my power tray is uh, where I like it and how I like it, and then uh, we're gonna go to the Delta Volana sector before uh, season 9.5 comes out and finally gets rid of the uh, the clusters because once that happens I can't do the lower uh, lower ranked vessels so hopefully I'm gonna try and plow through uh, most of them and uh, and then uh, we'll move on alright we are back so here I have uh, I named this actually after the uh, the episode with William Riker and Admiral Preston where they find the Pegasus in the asteroid. Um, so this is the um, ship here. Um, this registry number is exactly from the Pegasus except for the 9. Remove the 9 and you have the actual registry number. So um, I thought that was kind of neat. Anyways, I have one here so we're going to load this up. It might take a bit. So you can see the counter kind of just slowly rising up. Ugh. So, anyways, um, I'm going to be going through science vessels for a bit. So, um, like I said, I'm going to try and get the the low tiered vessels done so that uh, when uh, when season nine point five comes out, uh, they're going to remove the clusters, and so you can only use that for dofting. So that's why I'm getting a move on on this uh, this late in the game. Alright, here we go. There we go. Alright. Gotta get ready here, because otherwise I'm going to be attacked right off the bat here. Oh. Ooh. Shields are being stripped already. Oh, and he's got mines out. Get those shields up. I was doing this last night, and uh, I was I was uh, seeing how uh, how often this ship was gonna explode, but uh, I don't think I exploded once. I, no, I think I exploded once. That was about it. I was uh, I was actually kind of impressed. I think I bit off a little more than I could chew, but. As long as I focus on my shields, it should be good. Oh, oh, ooh, that hurt. I'm not doing much damage to this guy at all. Oh, that's bad. Oh, 
All right, let's call on the uh, photonic fleet here. I got, uh, let's see here, two typhoon cruisers and a Phoenix class or Phoenix variant. All right. Yeah, so I get 56.8 shield power for 23 seconds, and then 23 seconds for maximum shield and auxiliary power and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that photonic fleet really helps out. should be far enough away. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alrighty, that was uh, fairly well done. This is probably where I'm going to have some issues. It's attacking this guy right down here. Oh, he's a science vessel too. Oh. No, oh, he's got He's got mines. No, 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 no. So apparently this uh This is apparently a refit version. Um, I think that's maybe why it has the extra weapon at the front. Um, I mean, it's still, it's not a great ship. Oh, jeez. So, ah, there we go. Let's get our photonic fleet back out here. Got some battery capacitors going here. Alright, so let's do some evasive maneuvers here. Once you get evasive maneuvers, I mean, everything just flows so much better. But it's when you have it not working and it stops and you're back to normal speed, that's when. Um, you get frustrated because the ship I think the ship is supposed to turn on a dime it's not turning on any dimes as far as I know let's get that going just in case so I think I think I'm going to stop with the video here um, because I don't want to take too too long on this um, I want to push through a couple more reviews tonight and uh, and probably during the weekend I'm gonna get them all compressed and then put together and and I think Monday is probably when I'll upload them if I can. But uh, anyways, so that's my review on the Oberth class science vessel. I'm actually very impressed. I didn't uh, I didn't explode uh, this time, and uh, may maybe there's hope for the Oberth um, in the near future. Uh, maybe uh, maybe they can come up with an actual refit version or retrofit version and make it uh, a little more powerful. I'm not even sure if there's a fleet version. Uh, let me just check actually. Scroll down. Let's see here. Is there a fleet Oberth class? Fleet. Cruisers, escorts, science vessels. Research science vessel deep space reconnaissance science vessel retrofit. Is that it? I don't think so because it would say, oh, birth fleet or birth class. Yeah, no. No, that's not it. Yeah, so I don't think they even think there's a fleet version of this. Um, it's actually funny. Uh, one of the. Uh, people in my 
uh, in my fleet. Uh, him and I, we joke about the Oberth if they come out with a, a Zen Store version of it. And uh, I, I, I can't remember what special console he said it, it should come with, but mine was uh, the Supernova uh, console. What you do is you activate it, and within five seconds, the ship explodes, but everything else on the map explodes as well. You know, instant death for everyone. But uh, that's that's just, uh, I guess, wishful thinking, I guess. Anyways, um, thank you for watching my review. Live long and prosper. And as always, we'll see you out there. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Also, please comment and share this video as well. If you like to watch more upcoming videos, please click on the subscribe button for more. Thank you, and as always, live long and prosper.